So, our fourth handler, it's her very first time in a Hewitt's Music Final. This is Goose with her, his um, handler, Rachel, and they're going to be performing to Run Boy Run, this lovely Gold Retriever Cross Border Collie, very flamboyant dog. We really wish them well on their very first performance in the Crufts Main Arena. Well, what Amazing, a great performance Richard there for your first time well, in the ring. Goose was great. He trotted out there. And there was a great example of selling your dog to the judges with that lovely trotting motion. Rachel made the most of it. She showed some nice long stretches of his great flamboyant movement. His tail was wagging throughout. Such great drive, commitment, motivation there within that heel wag. And it's no surprise that actually Goose is also a very good obedience dog as well. He works uh, uh, some of the top classes in obedience. And uh, some super work there, holding position without the hand near him. But just look at that commitment. He loves his mum, this dog. And they've got an 
a really great bond. He is just loving his time out there with his mum. And uh, a nice piece of music, really atmospheric music, um, for Rachel's first performance there within the arena. Some nice accurate work with the dog holding some lovely positions there. And uh, just his amazing commitment, that dog. You can just see him having great fun while he's out there in the ring. So we've got our first place dog at the moment is Freckle on 24.57. That's uh, the score to beat. So, our three areas, content of flow, accuracy, and team performance, and musical interpretation is what those judges are, are evaluating. And they will obviously be looking for that dog. sort of we'll get the scores accuracy for that one in just and a motivation first, of the dog. And I really think Goose really uh, sort of conveyed that. Lucy Cream. So we're moving on to our next handler, and this is the well-known handler, Lucy Creek. But so with a little jingle this time. GK's Jingle's amazing. first time in the ring. She's five years old, and uh, she's uh, sort of had quite a whirl when she's gone from novice to advanced and across qualifier really quite quickly. They're performing to a track called Driver's License. So we wish them well. Got my driver's license last week Just like we always talked about Cause you were so excited for me To finally drive up to your house But today I drove through the suburbs Crying cause you weren't around And you're probably with that blonde girl Who always made me doubt She's so much older than me She's everything I'm insecure about Yet yeah, today I drove through the suburbs Cause how could I ever love someone else? And I know we weren't perfect But I've never felt this way for no one And I just can't Forever now I drive alone past your street And all my friends are tired Of hearing how much I miss you But I kind of feel sorry for them Cause they'll never know you the way that I do Yet today I drove through the suburbs And pictured I was dry
just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. Cause you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. Cause you said forever, now I drive along past your street. You said forever, now I drive alone past your street. Amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what a Street. lovely performance that was for Jingle's Jingle. first performance in the ring. Jingle was actually bred in Norway okay, from some we well-known freestyle and heroic to music Catholic dogs. I'm sure Rachel they're now Chris clapping and, and cheering on Jingle. And uh, that was a such... Sort of 24 with a there and so we're going to now have the scores for Rachel and Goose. Uh, and uh, Goose there performing to that quite heavy music, uh, which you know, wouldn't have suited little Jingle, but Goose there uh, getting 24 points, and so goes into so second our place. So are just entering their scores there for uh, uh, the brilliant Lucy Creek and that fantastic routine. Uh, with so Rachel now on 24, Freckle on 24.57. So we're going to see whether Jingle can now beat Freckle at 24.57. And the last two routines were a great example of choosing okay. the right music for the dog. Little Jingle there, you know, she's a lovely, she's sweet, she's quite small for a Border Collie. And so Lucy picked something which was just right for the dog. So, we've had five, we're on to number six next. And uh, our sixth competitor is Gina Pink with Swagger. And they're going to be forming to This Is Me. Gina has a very busy time here. She organises all these finals, so she's now into handler mode.
Well, what a lovely performance from Swagger, his very first time in this main arena. And he was enjoying it. Now, he's not been an easy dog for Gina to train, but there, Gina didn't make it easier for herself. If you notice, she was doing some sign language during the performance. So she not only had to hear the music and remember the routine, she had to remember all of that as well. So we have Lucy Creek score now, and a mix of eights there, and uh, going into first place with 25.07. So Lucy and the lovely jingle on 25.07. So you can see there's a real mix of music, and that last track with Squagger, very recognisable and uh, very atmospheric as well, very joyous music. And, it, and Swagger didn't stop wagging his tail throughout, and that's a team I think we're going to see for uh, quite a number of more years because uh, he's only five years old, so uh, he'll be competing even more. And some nice heel work positions. Um, we're looking at top level for the dog holding positions without sort of hand movements. I'm just going to come up to Sandra, if I may. Just doing her scores, don't want to interrupt her. I'll be in trouble for distracting the judge. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, the audience and myself have been learning so much about Hillwick to Music over the past couple of days. One thing I'd just like to understand though, the very basic difference between Hillwork to Music freestyle and Hillwork to Music, because they're two different disciplines, I think. Yes, they are. As you've seen here, the dog is working very close to the handler's body. There are eight positions, and they can use those um, in any direction that they wish. With fr and they can include a little bit of freestyle, but it mustn't exceed a third of the routine. And we still score that part of the freestyle. But um, the freestyle element, the actual competition we had yesterday, and we'll see again in the internationals, that is the free moves. That, that they can move away from the body. They can still do a third of heel work, okay. but the rest has to be away from the body. So slightly different yes. positions, basically. Yes. Thank you. Yes. That's brilliant. So, Thank you so much. Thank you. A big round of applause, please, for all our judges here today. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you.